What's up guys, Cedric Bloom here with another video. And earlier in another video, like way earlier, I mentioned pocket squares. Quick intro. Quick intro and a quick mention. Style comes in many ways. Your shirt, your pants, your shoes, your ties, your belt, anything. But if you're gonna be dressing up like me or like other people that dress up fashionably or old timey, you're gonna need a good pocket square for most of the outfits. And yes, this is the only set I own, but I do like this set. I do like matching pocket squares and pocket and uh, pocket squares and ties. No, I do not swear. I said pocket. Uh, so yes, I want to tell you seven different easy folds for beginners trying to get into the art of looking professional in a pocket square or with a pocket square and maybe in the future i'll show you all ties i'm not good at doing ties i only know like two styles and i struggle to do them so today we're going to do the presidential fold well not today the first one is the presidential fold you're going to take your pocket square flatten it out Make it into a rectangle. Ma make sure that everything's even it out. And then make sure it looks like a hot dog or a burrito. And then you gotta make it to a cube. And basically you just gotta keep squaring it out until you have one that's big enough for your pocket square. And make sure to get the right side to put on your pocket square. This, back to me. Oh kind of unfolds when I put it back to me, so. I will tell you what you could use this pocket square for. Now, slightly up. Yup, boom. I look like a nice president right now. Now, the presidential square is formal. Very formal, in fact. You could take it to funerals, weddings. And if you put this on a funeral, I mean, it's gonna be sad, but at least it'll show that you put extra effort into meeting that one dude. Or your one family member, whatever, you know. You go also wear it to a job interview, black tie party, you know, just something that involves formality. You'll look respectable either way. Now next we'll do the casual scallop phone. I like this one. But it's kind of less common, so you're going to be catching compliments everywhere. So first, you're going to have to... <coughs> Excuse me. Diamond it up. Diamond it up twice, so it's a smaller, more pyramid diamond. And then you're going to take your right side, your right, which is my left. Now that I flipped it, you're going to put it down here to the left side corner, but not to the other corner. And then you repeat, you'll get a little, and then you gotta open it. Now this is very common for this pocket fold. It's very common that it doesn't fit. So you're gonna have to close the magic sides or the magic gateways. And I'm not really good at making this to the point it's probably because it's all pattern, pattern. Same pattern reflects everywhere, so it won't exactly look like the scallop fold. Mm. Don't I look snappy? I look good. Now, this is casual, you know. Go to parties. And, I mean, it still hints some formality in it. But still good. Next, we got the puffy fold, which is my personal favorite. And our third on the list. Now, this one is the only one you could make in midair. So, let me show you. Take the middle. And you can also do this on a flat surface. You put it up. You collect all that fabric. You get the end. Put it up a little bit up. Put it in there, and boom. You can adjust it a little bit, which I like to do a lot. And I also, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, I 
the coffee. I also forgot to tell you the rules of the pocket square folds. Never have it, <coughs> sorry. Never have it too down, like don't hide it. But never have it too up, it just ruins the immersion. Now this puffy fold is casual. The most casual thing you'll see on this list. And trust me, you're gonna be looking fashionable, my dear friend viewer. You're gonna be getting compliments all night and day. Now trust me on that. Next is one peak fold. This is just a more formal presidential fold. You could wear this to what I said for the presidential fold, weddings, funerals. But I do suggest just using the presidential fold or this for a funeral. So put it into, oh, I forgot. Good thing I didn't start. Put it into a triangle. Oh, silly me. I forgot, that's for the next fold. So make it into a hot dog. Then make it into a smaller square. And if you have a smaller pocket fold, way smaller than mine, you could just go on with this step. So now that you put it to you like a diamond, you're gonna take your, your right side, you're gonna put it right here in the middle, you do it with the other side, and get the bottom. And don't use the side with the folds in your pocket. Oh, hold on, if I mess up. Now remember the rules, don't have it too high, but don't have it too hidden. Now look, this is good. Don't put it like right there. I mean, maybe that could work, but don't have it like that. And if you wear any, <coughs> any type of sport coat, blazer, suit jacket, uh, don't have it over, you know, like the, the main part, it's like the collar, but it goes all the way down. Next is two peak fold. I'm not sure if I told you the one peak is the name of the one I just showed you. Hold on, quick cut. I'm back. Just got some water, but <clears throat> <clears throat> my cough suddenly got worse, so I'm gonna just try to go through the video. <clears throat> <clears throat> Next, is <clears throat> Next thing we got was a two peak fold. Pretty simple. <sighs> so we're gonna have to go down like that. You're gonna want it to look like a huge diamond. And you're gonna wanna bring one of your ends, like the longer end, not the middle end. So you're gonna take that part. I'm gonna have to do it in my way, so I'm gonna have a struggle, so yep. Remember to have them separate, because that's gonna be your two peaks in the fold. So make sure to fold, at least in my way, I like to do it like this. And sometimes, you know, it might not fit. So you're gonna have to just wing it. You know, I'm kinda struggling right now, but it's all right. I'll figure it out pretty simply. Get Never really struggled, but I do this very uh, not so as much as the next one I'll show you. Two peak fold, remember. Don't hide it. Don't overdo it. Next we have the three peak fold which is just an extra step to the two peak fold. Oh, I forgot to tell you, the one peak and the two peak are formal. Now, now the two peak is basically exactly like a presidential. We want more flair to it. It's like more flair. So you look great. So you gotta do the same thing as I did in the two peak fold. Need that huge diamond or just a very huge pyramid of Giza. So then you do the same as the last one. Make your two. Then you use this part, you go up, and you do that. 
Now you have your three folds. Now you're gonna wanna bring it up. Folds are gonna bring it up. Just I'm just struggling a tiny bit here. Boom. Now I sometimes call this the crown because I'm pretty sure I sometimes make this badly. So it's basically just a crown. Now I like think I kind of messed it up in the last part of the fold, but boom, I'm looking great. I just look like a fashionable man. And when you follow these easy folds for your occasion, you'll look fashionable too. Now for our final fold of the video is the winged puff. Now this is easy. You gotta do the same step as the peaks. Then you're gonna wanna get your two sides. Do like that. And you're gonna want that side as well. And you're gonna kinda wanna have them separate. Hold on a second. I'm back, dear viewer. My dog was getting a little too... A little too... I don't know, he's just scratching, whining. So I just had to let him out of the room. Yep, so you get your two sides and bring them to the big part of the pyramid. And look, you're gonna notice a slit. And puff, so you're gonna wanna fold in the side into the slit, like the opening <coughs> to where it starts to open. Then you're gonna wanna put the bottom, bring it up there. And remember, this can happen to you, but this time, instead of not showing the part with the folds, you gotta have the part with the folds show. But look, sometimes you have the problem there. You wanna fold it, you gotta fold the sides as well too. Also sometimes, yeah, so my uh, my pocket square isn't really that great for this fold because of all the, the multi-pattern. I'm trying my best for this because I'm not really that good at the wing puff, but hey. Look, I look great. This is a casual one, and you'll definitely be stylish. Now this one just shows you have confidence in the room. And that's it for our folds for today. The one I struggled with the most, the winged puff, like I did always. Now remember, my dear friend viewer, remember this word from the Senor Bling Bling. Style can come in many ways, but it's up to you to make that style. Yeah, I kind of forgot what I was going to say, but that also works as well. Remember, you can choose any of these folds to do. And let me tell you the, the hardest and easiest one. The easiest one out of these is the puffy fold. The easiest one out there. You know, it's pretty simple. And the hardest one, for me at least, would be the winged puff because I don't have the right square for it. And it's kind of hard to get that slit, that nice looking slit in there. But other than that, I might have to say maybe the scallop at most. And yep, that was it. Well, dear friend, viewer, that's all the time we have for today. Have a great day, night, evening morning, afternoon, sunrise, sunset, moonlight, and overall, no matter what time you're at, have a good day. And if you do today, so will I. Now remember, stay fashionable whenever. Have a great day, and I will too.